Hello, and thank you for choosing Lesson Picks. Today, we're very proud to share our new translation tool powered by Google Translate. It's great for creating multilingual materials or when you need to support a student whose first language may not be your own. Best of all, like the rest of Lesson Picks, it's incredibly simple to use and very powerful. Let's get started. Here's a great social narrative from the Sharing Center. Christine Foxworth shared it, and it's a great example of using lesson picks to help with transitions, perhaps for a child with autism. Let's download it first and see what it looks like. It's a story called Going to the Cafeteria for Lunch, as 21 pages in a half-page layout that uses 11 pieces of paper. Going back to the site, let's use the Load All feature to pull all the pictures and text into our tray. This is a great way to jumpstart a new material. All the pictures are in the tray. Now let's hit Create Materials to start making a translation of the story in another language. We'll choose Books and Stories and click Next. Here's where our new translation tool comes into play. Notice at the bottom of the wizard that we now offer translation of your text using Google Translate. Click the drop-down to see all the languages supported. We have the most common languages like Spanish and French at the top, but there's dozens to choose from, including those with tougher scripts like Arabic and Japanese. Let's choose Spanish for our first translation and click Translate. Notice that all the text in the story is now translated to Spanish. Google Translate does a great job, but it is machine translated, so there can be some odd word ordering. But when you're translating to a language you don't know, it's a lifesaver. With our text translated to Spanish, click Next to get to the Options screen. I'm setting the title in English so I know which language this is, and I'm naming it Lunch in Spanish. We'll set the book style to plain and the size to half page to match the original story. Click Finish and Lesson Picks will generate our book. Let's download the story and take a look. Each page is translated and laid out as expected, and it's ready to print. This would be a great addition for your Spanish-speaking students. That's it, a translated material in seconds. Let's make something from scratch, this time in Greek. That will be helpful since our headquarters is near Tarpon Springs, which has a vibrant Greek community. Let's clear the tray and go to the clip art section. We'll make body part bingo in Greek. We'll drag some body parts to the tray. We can use the blue plus sign instead, especially if we're on a tablet where dragging can be difficult. Before we make our bingo, let's save these pictures to a collection. This will let us see the other place we can use Google Translate, in the Collection view. Click Save and then enter the name Body Parts for the collection. Here are all of our body parts in our new collection. Let's translate them all to Greek, change the collection name, and click Save. Now we have a Greek body parts collection we can use whenever we need it. Here you'll find it under the Your Lesson Picks tab all ready to go. We'll clear the tray, which still has English pictures in it, and load all the Greek body parts by clicking the blue plus sign. Now we click Create Materials and choose Bingo Games. Notice the words are already in Greek. Click Next and let's set our options. We set the title to Greek Body Parts and choose 3x3 Bingo for 6 kids. Click Finish and we're ready to play. We hope you find this new feature powerful and we can't wait to see what you do with it. Good luck and as always, have fun.